And this is a culmination of three months of religiously looking. And when I say looking, most of these plants are bought through an auction. I got these plants from Succulent Road Sales and Auction Group via Facebook. There's a sale every fortnight, or that's every two weeks, and it begins on Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m. and concludes on Thursday at 8.30 p.m. That's a couple of days later to give you time to outbid someone else and also to think what else you'd like to bid on since there's 100 different succulent variety on offer with a $1 reserve. Yes, that's right, $1 reserve. I sound like a salesman, but anyway, this is followed by after auction sales at 8.35 p.m. to give you time to get a cuppa or go to the loo. The after sale usually has 100 different varieties of Korean succulents. This is a good opportunity to buy without the pressure of having to outbid someone else. But since she only has limited amount of plants, one has to be also quick so as to not miss out. So let us begin and see some of the plants I got from her in the last three months. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel growing succulents. So this is a mangave purple people eater, a PPE. PPE is quite gorgeous, but I only got this for a couple of dollars because no one bid on it. So I felt so sorry for the poor plant. And of course, just my luck, nobody bid for it. Then of course, I got it for $2. Now this one is not $2. I paid $40 for this Ionium Pink, which, and it's just beautiful. So maybe another week of being exposed to the sun and all those white centers would hopefully turn into all those nice pink witchy color. Now this one is more of a love plant. It's a long name. So did I write on the other side? Yes, I did. They go Echinocereus rigidissimus rubrispinus rainbow hedgehog cactus. Now this one, when I got this, it was a bit more colored up, but I've been keeping it under wraps and I put it under my grow light and it colored up a bit but I was afraid it might get attacked by fungus gnats so I brought it outside and it has survived. I got this in June and it's been living outside so it has seen some frost but did not get affected by the frost at all. So I continued to put it outside but apparently this plant once it grows more mature it will show up more of those pink center that is just so delicious. Now, the next lots here are all a combination of different Echeveria, Graptoveria, Cremneria, another Cremneria which nobody wants. I got you for four bucks, but this one actually has no name. And of course, when I got it home or brought it home, I compared it with what I've got, so I just called it Cremneria Cindy, but it looks very similar to Cremneria Mutabilis, which I already have. So now for four bucks, can't complain. And the rest of the crew here is Prunella, another Prunella. This is my second lot of Prunella. I started with one Prunella like this one here, but it's not that color. It was a bit paler than that. And now I've got the same cluster, maybe, uh, just about, but I think smaller. But this prunella is sort of a different color. That's the reason why I got it, because it is just so delicious. So maybe it's the way she grows her plants or keeps her plants that makes them color up so nicely. Now this one is another bag and choco rose. So I love auctions because... You can get some plants really cheap. I'm going to say cheap is not really because it depends. If you get emotional in an auction and someone's trying to outbid you, you can just go crazy and say, no, you're not having that plant. I'm going to bid you up. So anyway, sometimes you get caught. So you have to set a limit. Well, at least I do. I set a limit. And Cindy, 
the seller who sells this is actually very, very, very generous lady. And speaking of generous, she would bend over backwards for anyone. Anyway, this one, when I saw this, I was just on my way out and I was like, I've got $10 to spend. So she's selling this for $35 and you see the hat. Now, when I saw this, it's like, oh, how much is that one? And she says, okay, you can have it for... <laughs> <laughs> ten dollars that's all because i said oh i don't want to like give a change or something like i always like to round it up so if i say oh i spent 190 dollars and that was the case here and i've got ten dollars to spend what else can i get and i look around i couldn't find any other plan and so i said oh what is that one so that's how i got this for ten dollars so this is a three lots of auctions that i joined so it was one in june one in july and one in august so it's out of those three auctions and also in between she posted some after sales as well and af after the auction after sales is what it's called the after sales so it's after the auction sales basically and she would have some plants that are sort of fixed price like say this one's the um, juicy orange juice which i paid twelve dollars for this one and then She's got these other two, which has got uh, something orange, whatever, crystal, sort of slightly different name, but it's also got orange. And I thought I got two of them first up, and then this came up at $12, so I said, okay, I'll take the lot. So sometimes you have to really check, and sometimes when buying succulents online, like say, in this case, it's not an auction anymore, but you still get carried away and that is the problem and sometimes when you get carried away and then you go and tell her say oh i did not know that they are exactly the same plants i wanted two of them but i did not think it's the same plant but this one is so colorful so gorgeous look okay i'll put my light in there so that's why i paid 12 and that one is i forgot what i paid and that one is a double head so it doesn't really matter so i think 20 for that one or whatever so that is the story of that plant and then when i went and to pick them up for my haul from that sale of course what did she do she gave me a snow angel for free so she's look okay you don't believe me snow angel heart cindy i put a heart it's like love okay i've got two labels here hang on wait a minute i just noticed this label look double double trouble so which means look snow angel 2020 heart who's got a heart me are heartless <laughs> me is heartless no okay so i'll put you there and i will do the label run which means later on now i'm making a mess in here but now the next one this is another i see green okay no sorry i think that's not the one there's another plant she gave me which i now forgot which one it is i think it might be the icy green which she gave me for free because i said i am after an icy green and i think it's cost 15 dollars. and she said there you go it's a freebie so anyway so of course you're not gonna buy one plant and then she's gonna give you a 15 dollar or buy one plant like this in this case for $15 and then you can have a $15 for free of course you have to spend a little bit because after all it's still a business it's not charity but anywho this one is a snow peach Graptaveria snow peach and I am obsessed with snow peach I just love the way they look so chubby and chunky and very frost hardy this gorgeous one here are three heads of gypsy or Graptaveria what's your name Mrs. Richards so I've been chasing after them. So when I finally found them at very, very cheap price, of course, I thought I might as well get three of them and they are flowering. Aren't they beautiful? So this one, I already harvested some leaves and hopefully they will grow. And then another new set of flower with inflorescence leaves is growing. So hopefully I can get some babies from that one as well so this one is shangri la 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 okay beautiful plant that one is already colored up nicely one of them exposed to the sun and the rest is slowly waking up to it but where i have all these plants when i got it i did not change the soil i intentionally left them uh how they are this is custard 
oh sorry this is a wrong one i got this one i did not get this one from this lot i got this from that lot so i'm getting them ready to put up so anyway so this one paki python pie ball deer so different lavender pebbles cindy okay so this uh sort of similar looking plant so i've got graptopetalum and paki python and also the graptoveria snow angel if you put them all together they sort of kind of look the same but slightly different and even this snow angel here so it's a chivalry snow angel and yet they all have that chubby white look about them so now let's go over up the top here i was wrong i paid 15 dollars for this ice green or icy green because the one that she gave me with the heart is a chivalria summer ice cream oh ice cream you scream we all scream for ice cream isn't that yummy look at that i feel like hannibal lecter going beautiful beautiful plaid look at those tips isn't that gorgeous hang on it's passing up there you go you can see it better but look at that gorgeous gorgeous plant beautiful and especially beautiful because i got it with a heart so that one is free with lots of love from cindy now this one is another plant that i thought looks like a lovely cue but no it's not it's called all hail caesar <laughs> hey how are you Caesar, there you go. So this one, I bought this one from the after sale. So it wasn't on the auction. So certain ones, I bought this one, Beauty Silhouette. That's from the auction. Jasper, Echeveria Jasper, gorgeous. Look at that, beautiful. That's from the auction as well. That sort of reminds me a little bit of my snow bunny. Now this one, Paki Paitum. Le Masso with a baby. Look how gorgeous she is. So it looks like a Lowy hybrid, I think, but it's not. It's apparently Paki Paitum in $26. I am trying to look for hybrid or something like that, but it's not. So anyway, hopefully I don't kill it because I left them in their soil mix that they're in. A lot of these plants are actually bought i think 77 plants together that's sort of in a pot already so it's a little bit like say for example those icy oranges things here there are three pots so that's what i meant by 77 plants not varieties this is romantic okay <laughs> I'm doing some operatic thing, but never mind. To me, this is just a gorgeous plant. But it sort of looks similar to a few other plants, like the Princess CC, which is, where are you now? So I have a few plants that sort of kind of look similar to that one. So I like to buy plants that look similar to each other. Therefore, I can show you whether it's worth buying it or not actually here you go far pillar so far pillar and there's also another one princess cc i have to get up where are you where are you there you go princess cc and also i got this uh anacamsero selafi yas room i think uh sunrise or rainbow sunrise or some something like that gorgeous that one is beautiful plant that's one of my haul from her now this one princess cc cindy because i did buy another couple of princess cc from somewhere so if you compare romantic and princess cc they kind of look similar don't they with a slight difference except princess uh romantic here is a little bit romantic stabs you in the heart <laughs> with those gorgeous sort of maroon coloring now this one now if you put it next to a rabbin only rabbin is more rabbinous so uh should i say rabbit but no never mind this is princess cc four headed and i think i didn't pay that much for them so it's a bargain for having four heads that i can separate now the reason why i'm doing this video again i'm going to repeat myself is not to show off that oh look at me i bought so much plants it's not that at all 
because I need these plants because if I were to sell, if I were to sell later on, I'm about to sing uh, if I were a rich man, but I'm not. I would like to be a rich woman so I can sell some succulents later on, hopefully after I grow them. By that time, most of these succulents will be quite cheap as well, but it doesn't matter. It's something that is sort of an investment. Now, these ones, except for the center one, these are, okay, a one, two, three, four. Okay, this one is plants that I almost killed from her. Now, I haven't changed the soil, so I don't know whether I blame myself that I didn't change it. But anyway, this is Lavender Pebble Cross Hyalina, whatever's left of it. And I already actually got a whole heap of leaves, and hopefully... It might not be a bad thing since it's about to flower, but it just started rotting. So I have to quickly change the soil. I only potted this up yesterday. And also uh, this one is Sita in the center. But anyway, this one is called Snow Finger. And also the Snow Finger started rotting as well on me. So I have to quickly change it. And also um, Crystal Amber. It was a cluster. Now, it's, there's only two left, and hopefully they'll grow. But if they don't, that's it. doesn't matter. I'm not getting them anymore. Now, Jewel as well. This one looks like bubbles and another plant. Purple Delight, something purple. But anyway, so out of all the plants I got from her, 77 in total, I've got a one, two, three, four. Those two here are... One is Love Me, I've grown from a leaf, that one, and that one is Shanghai Lady that I propagated, so I thought I might as well throw that all in. So it's still not bad, considering that I have been neglecting them. They have been rained on outside, and look at this beautiful Tromso Heart. Isn't that gorgeous? This one is really a bargain for what I paid for it. This is a big plant. This is not some small plant that Tromso, still people are selling it online for $30 for uh, half the size of this one. So I think I got a good bargain out of that one. So anyway, this one, Frosty Bloom, also started showing signs of rotting. So I have to take off uh, some, you can see those dark spots there. That's either rotted or because of the rain or because those new babies popping out everywhere. So you got a one, a two, a three so sometimes the mother would sort of the mother leaf basically so old leaves will dry up or rot up just so they can make way for new babies but this one now hopefully this one is not a flower and that is just a plant that way I can harvest that so I will end up in a one two three four five six probably not good to count it because I might lose them all again so I think they'll be all right, but I just need to transplant all of this now, now that we're getting a lot more rain. Anyway, this one is called Whisper. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Tolima Nensis, but it's sort of different. And also this is Linsayana. This is double-headed Linsayana. I have another Linsayana that I have been torturing for a lot of years. And it's about time I give it company. So this is my second Linsayana that I have now acquired just so I can keep my Linsayana. So this is my really old Linsayana, which is flowering at the moment. So this one, I have abused this plant. And I haven't even changed it from its original soil like four years later. Now this one now, hopefully this one will be happy to have a company Meet your little sister, Lindsay. <laughs> now you will never be lonely again because you have another Linsayana, two of them in fact. And maybe if I harvest some leaves from you now or maybe behead you, you will have many, 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 many babies for me. So anyway, this once I've done in one of my cluster videos, it was much smaller then. And it's got one, two, three, four, five headed. And I don't understand why nobody bought it. But, and they were buying 
one head or double head but nobody seemed to want the cluster so i bought the cluster but anyway this one is a gorgeous gorgeous plant as well look at that it's like a star it's called mia mia love you long time now <laughs> beautiful so many plants i'm not going to go through all of them or do you want me to go through all of them Elsa, I've got a two-headed Elsa. I killed my first Elsa that I bought. Oh, three-headed. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know my Elsa. Hello. Where's Anna? <laughs> but, oh, I can't wait to grow you because you have lines. Elsa's quite beautiful. It has, like, markings on the leaves or growth lines. It's just... And then they would color up if they're exposed to the sun. So I am hoping, and now that you're flowering as well... Should I try and get some flower? I don't know. So I love these plants. I might start cross-pollinating them. And hopefully I'll get some more flowers. And peach queen. I think I already have a peach queen. I'm not so sure. But anyway, we're going to leave this lot here now. And we're going to go up the top. Now, this one reminds me of those fantasy films. They, they transform into something when they say... Sitar. So anyway, this is a beautiful clustered plant. And this plant was bought, or she bought it from somewhere. She took one cutting and she put it on the auction. And it only went halfway to what she paid for it. So in a way, I got it as a bargain. Therefore, I had an excuse to keep buying more plants from her because I feel bad that she did not get her, she didn't have reserve. She always have like a $1 reserve. So anyway, if you want some bargain plants, and this is only Australia wide, okay? She doesn't do overseas, unfortunately. But now this one, what are you? I forgot your name. Ariel Crest, there you go. So it's a crested Ariel, and it is gorgeous. Oh, look at that, beautiful. So are you crested with double head? So there's one Ariel there and there's a crested one here. Because the one I think I picked, she accidentally sold it to someone else. But I said, it doesn't matter. That's okay. No worries. No problem. That can't be fixed. It will still grow. So uh, I think she, she did. She, she did give me a discount. But anyway, so Fiona crested as well. Gorgeous. Beautiful. It looks kind of the same coloration as the Ariel, but look at that. Gorgeous plants. Now, this one, I only paid $4 for this on the auction, only because I have a brand that I paid $4.67 in February about this size. And that was in February. And now it's September. This is now my brand. And my brand is very, is growing a brand. He's got lots of brands coming out. Look, look at the bottom brand. So I thought, so that's WJ467 for a teeny weeny plant about that size before. Look at the size of it now. So I'm going to have to pull this out of this container, this planter, and put that in a bigger pot. So that's why I need to have support to say it's okay to get out of this pot don't don't fret because everything will be fine now also another plant i would like to show you is this panda panda face this kind of reminds me of dondo dondo esta panda face now this panda face but and the flower is similar as well but if you have it side by side with the Dondo, believe me, there's difference. Also, Kercheriana. I think they might be the same plant, but anyway. But this one has got a distinct dark tips, which is just so delicious. Now, other plants here are ones with funny names. So this one is easy, Pachypytum pintips. So isn't that gorgeous and flat? So maybe it will fatten up once it's grown and given lots of water. But Pachypytum are very strong, hardy plants anyway. No issues. And they can handle the frost. And I've got Glutinicaule. This is my third, I think, Glutinicaule. So my other one is really, really big now and it's doing well. So I thought I might as well get some backup. And hopefully, or did I... 
hit something. Hopefully they will grow much faster. Now this one is Pachypytum oviferum Cayubigin. This is only small but deadly. Look at those tips. It can stab you even by oh look it's flowering as well a lot of them are flowering at the moment so i've got now apple pachypytum apple already have one apple i bought from somewhere and this actually the apple i bought later after seeing this is the first apple i bought and isn't that just delicious so i thought i might as well go buy some more i bought some more apple pachypytum apple from someone else but anyway this one is the funny name sorry this is such a long long <laughs> name Pachypytum oviferum cv mikadu kibijin <laughs> mikadu kibijin mikadu kib oh my goodness so that one is a bargain for 15 dollars from the auction so look at that look how big that plant and strong and healthy. Now this one is another bargain, Crassula albiflora. Now normally from my local hardware store, you can get cuttings like one head like this and they put it, put it in those teeny weeny little small pots like five millimeter <laughs> pots and they sell it for like $3.50. I think it's $4 now, I don't know. I think it's still $3.50 or something like that. But anyway, so they got a one, two, three, normally four, about four. They will divide that and sell that off to you. But this one I got in the auction for $4. Now another Tolimanensis with baby and I paid $15. So normally you get a Big mother plant for $10 now, but actually smaller. This is quite large for the price. So anyway, that one is, uh, I want that on the auction as well. Now this one, Colorata Seven Nights. I like the name, Seven Nights. This is Colorata Crostoli Manensis. So you can see the Colorata influence from the mommy or the daddy, whichever one. And then there's also a baby. So that's why I every time I see baby, I have to get it. Now this one is Love Letter. Gorgeous plant and right now it's throwing off and I don't want to damage the tips. It is throwing off a lot of pups. Look at that. So all the way around to Oops the other side and then I drop the plant and we're gonna have big problem they, <laughs> I'm superstitious if I drop something and it get damaged. I'm doing the video. That's it I'm not gonna do videos anymore. No, I'm just kidding, but I am superstitious in that way But anyway, so that's why best not dropping it now. This one is called summer dream Beautiful clusters. I got a one two three four five six seven eight. I think three four five Yes, eight plants and there's another baby coming out. So and I think the leaves I took one leaf off and I think it hasn't uh, shown any pups now anyway guys that's all I've got for this video and then this one what are you ice brick look at that it's like an ice brick <laughs> I don't know it kind of reminds me of ice age sort of similar can you see that so I wonder if it's the same plant ice brick and ice age so all these hybrids now with all these new names is I can't keep up basically I am lost so now I decided that whatever I buy if it has a name I will put the name on it if I do lose the name it'll just be one more beautiful plan so anyway on the next video for these guys I will be potting them up along with some other purchases I had before that are stressing out. I'm growing them and stressing the, them out and I still left them in their original pot and they are screaming to be potted on a bigger pot. So that's it guys for this video and also I'm gonna make my Mrs. Richard variegated he over here join the other variegated ones. Or should I say, I'm getting confused now, the non-variegated one. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for this last plant haul. I will still show some plants that I bought here and there with my vlog occasionally. Oh, I bought one plant here and there, which reminds me, there's a plant I really want to show you, which is I have been after this plant for six years. And finally, 
Finally, I found it. Only I, I, I actually held it in my cute little hands. <laughs> With my small hands, I held it last two, three days ago. So I just literally acquired it three days ago from Canberra. Rare uh, uh, sales and swap. So anyway, all the relevant links will be below the video. So this one is Echeveria Agavoidis Maccabina. Look at that. One, two, three, four babies on the side. I like the flick. And it's like a bigger version of Meteor Shower. Only prettier and older. So this plant would have been imported all the way from Mexico. A long, long time ago, it came to Australia. And then now... Well, this is now the baby <laughs> of that mother plant, which was originally imported from, uh, I think, USA or Mexico, wherever it came from. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh, I love my macabina. Uh, gorgeous plant. I finally have you after six years. After six years. Worms, come here. I'm sorry. <laughs> and put them. Yeah, you can go there. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You got okay. You can crawl your way into. Oh, look, they're gonna crawl into this pot and make my succulents healthy, which is a moena. It's just so beautiful.